Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday, and that means we are starting a brand new week, and we have good content every single day to look forward to this week inside of FIFA 22 with this Winter Wild Cards promo. EA, just keep pushing the gas pedal in terms of content. It just is good value content, good player SBCs. We have new player items that are in packs from yesterday as a mini release, as expected. Uh, and we have more great SBCs coming according to the leaks that are out there. We'll talk about that a little bit today. And since we're kind of looking at this whole week ahead, we got to talk about some pack code that was added. A party bag SBC still is on the horizon, right? In the back of people's minds. Of course, we're thinking about Black Friday and we did not see uh, the party bag that was added to the code on Black Friday actually dropped in the game. But that is maybe an SBC that we could see this week. I also think that might be an SBC they drop on Christmas Day. They did that last year. They dropped a party bag SBC. I believe it was like either a day after Christmas or on Christmas. One of the two. Um, they like dropped that right around the holiday, right? Because that's th this promo is very holiday related, right? There, it's a very festive promo. The snowflakes, the snow in the game, winter wild cards, right? Winter Wonderland would have been a great name for the promo as well, because people are loving this promo. They really are, and I think that's going to be the overarching premise over everything that we talk about today. And even in yesterday's video, we talked about how the market's been dropping off a lot. People are just loving these brand new cards. The boosts on them are great. This Luka Modric, uh, we actually have some lightning rounds that are running right now. So his price has dropped some. I bought uh, I bought one at 872, sold it at 9, uh, what, 20 or something like that. So just a little bit of profit on a quick flip on this Modric card. But these card boosts are insane. People are just loving these. The daily SBCs are fantastic. And people are, again, we, I, I tweeted out on Friday. I said, hey, is this promo better than Footmas? What do you guys think? And a lot of people are get, are getting Footmas vibes from this promo because Footmas of old was always such a beloved promo. And, and, and this is the reasons we love this promo is why Footmas was loved. So keep up the W's, EA Sports. That's all I got to say because this week is still going to look like a lot of fun if the content keeps rolling as it has been. Now, we've had three days in a row, and this, this is where we're going to get into things today. We've had three days in a row of good value player SBCs. Zaha, Sao. And yesterday, Pandev. I know he's really hard to link, but for 50,000 coins, it's just a cool card. If it doesn't fit your team, you don't want to do the SBC, that's fine. Do the loan version so that you have... Um, by the way, I would recommend doing the loan versions of all of these if you have not. Especially like for Icon Swaps, the second set of tokens that will come out um, in a couple of weeks. We don't have Bundesliga or La Liga as a part of the friendlies. I think that this Sao... And then today, we're supposed to get Awar. I think that those would be SBCs you want to do the loans of so that you can have some better cards and friendlies, uh, just maybe make your life a little bit easier. A lot of people are going to do that, so that's probably a smart place uh, to get involved. So let's take a look at the pack, though, that we just kind of were talking about, that Party Bag SBC and the Awar SBC. Now, the Party Bag is probably going to be an SBC that comes out this week or sometime in the Winter Wild Cards promo. I think that, you know, I'm surprised they didn't drop it during Black Friday. I really am. They know, EA know that people love these types of SBCs. And this promo is seriously so much more SBC based than Black Friday was. I think it's literally inevitable that we see this pack come out. Now, again, it's called the Winter Roundup Pack, but we know it as a party bag, right? Because it is a pack that contains items from other promo teams that are no longer in packs but again again gives you that insane potential think about ones to watch even you still have ones to watch Messi, ronaldo rule breakers holland dembele suarez rudiger trent alexander arnold very usable cards numbers up felix jota eder militao road to the knockouts you know Werner, de young uh, team of the group stage, so many great cards in there, right? Signature signings, right, with the Renato and the KDB. So this pack right here, I do think that it's either going to come out this week or on the weekend. I think it's going to be in the next seven days we are going to see this pack. I think it's going to be an SBC because that is exactly what EA Sports did last year. And I want to kind of talk you through how the market might be impacted on this and how much it's going to cost. So last year, they dropped a foot freeze party bag. Uh, I believe they dropped it. It says December 27th. So it was a couple days after Christmas. It was on kind of like the, the end of the foot freeze promo. Now, what what is this, what is this uh, cost, right? Last year, the SBC was basically the same thing. It included players in the pack from all the promos up until the current one. Now, last year it also included foot freeze players, um, and this pack code does not include 
the winter wild cards items that are in packs right now, nor does it include the foot versus items. So uh, you don't have to worry about those, but I think those prices for all of the cards in the whole market are going to be affected if this SBC drops. But this party bag SBC last year was like 70K, an 84 rated squad and an inform were the requirements. 84 rated squad, 50 chemistry, one inform player, non-repeatable, right? This would be a one-time non-repeatable but this is the type of SBC that everybody's going to do. And SBC fodder is mad cheap, right? 84s are 2.4, 2.5 thousand coins. 85s are like 6K, 86s are 11K. Since the SBCs right now, uh, they're all really cheap. And especially yesterday on Sunday, the Pandev SBC, I mean, this isn't going to move the whole market because, you know, 616 downvotes, the people downvoting this are like, all right, this guy doesn't fit my team, EA Sports. I'm going to be a Scrooge and downvote this SBC. But as a lot of us noticed, and a lot of the thumbs up on this card, you know, this is a really good card. And this is going to be probably this dude's best version ever in FIFA. 32 pace on the upgrade, right? 37 sprint speed on an individual upgrade for this card. 50 stamina. This guy got plus 50 stamina. How cracked is that? So this is just kind of like the um, King Kazu and Nakamura SBCs that were a couple weeks ago. This is just fun, right? This is just flat fun, but it didn't move the SBC market on fodder. If we take a look at the index 84, uh, it literally just went down because the pack supply outweighed the demand for this Pandev SBC. If a party bag and when a party bag drops, this fodder is going to rise. It's going to spike. Now, actually, if you remember seeing the graph on Friday, it's probably not going to show on here. But you saw a really uh, short rise last week, Thursday night into Friday, when the party bag was added into the code. People see code drops like this, and they just go buy fodder. In my opinion, a lot of people have already bought fodder for this. So there's a lot of like fodder supply and fodder investors that are still out there waiting to sell. But I think it is going to go up a little bit this week because your supply is kind of ending, right? Sundays are usually the last days where they run all the lightning rounds. There still might be a few lightning rounds throughout the week, but we don't have an icon upgrade SBC that is out right now. We don't have a party bag. We're going to get more player SBCs, including our today, which we'll still talk about in a minute. I think that these 84s on bid, especially today with some supply coming in from weekend league rewards that are going to be released ev to everybody um, in a few hours, this might be some of your like last gas of supply. And you might be able to club stock a few of these. I would go for like the 84s and the 85s, in my humble opinion. That's where I would put my coins. I've already got high rated fodder in the club as a club stock. I'm just waiting for big SBCs to come to kind of to kind of rise it up um, at the moment. So I would focus on this range of fodder though, kind of the lower tier for a party bag. And the SBCs they've been re releasing lately, and again, have been such good value. And that's why that end of the market, I think, has more potential to move in the short term, right? For the short term. I think that's uh, there's more potential for that fodder movement there. Uh, now, this is the SBC card that we are supposed to be getting today on Monday. Monday might be a pretty banging day for content. This LR SBC, of course, last year, he had a, a foot uh, freeze item. If we take a look at his card, I want to kind of generations compare to the 86 LR that we had last year and actually just look at these leaks and look at the stats. Last year, we had an LR striker position change. I think everybody still play this card as like a cam or in the midfield. Uh, but this card that we're getting supposedly today uh, is very similar. 90 dribbling, 86 pace, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 70 defense, and 77 physical. This more, looks more like a central midfielder than last year's card for sure. Plus 10 on the defense compared to last year. But this card looks really good. And last year, this dude, look at all the thumbs up. 11,000 thumbs up. When they drop our SBCs, people love it because incredible links, League One and French. So many people, if this SBC for this card is like less than 150K today on this game, so many people are going to go out and do this. And we've seen it before where a lot of the links to these SBCs, when they're really good value, rise up. Again, you take a look at some of the players that link to like Sao, like Mbabu is 130,000 coins. Cornet is still very high in price. Where is he? I, mean, I think I saw Cornet. Yeah, still 124,000 coins. So a lot of the players that link to the Sal, to the Zaha, the very popular players that are in this game and on this game right now as a part of winter wild cards, they go up. So watch out for your links to our today. Now, one interesting thing too is along with this SBC today, there's been a new card added to the code uh, and that is this. Berth, Bertho Meyer, Jason Bertho Meyer, four star, four star, high, low. People are thinking that this might be like an objective. Uh, we haven't had like a league 
specific milestone objective. As you guys know, we have the um, like the Premier League, the squad foundations. No, yeah, Premier League league player. This one, like the league players, Syria, La Liga. We don't have League One yet. Uh, that is the only top five league that we do not have. We've got Bundesliga, La Liga, Syria, and Premier League. So supposedly, people think that Berto Meyer is going to be coming today, or if not today, very very soon, um, for a objective in this game because it's added to the code. So that's kind of what we're thinking for like today's content. Of course, upgrade packs would be something that could be a part of today's content as well. We had the 81 plus doubles last week. I think that means a lot of people would be hoping to see a 75 plus player pick. I believe there's also like an 80 plus player pick that's in the code. So if they dropped either of those, people would be going all out with the cards that are in packs right now. Um, and with the SBCs that are craftable at the moment, people will be putting a lot of coins into player picks and that would drop the market even more, I think. So that's kind of what we're looking at for today's content. Of course, we could have icon SBCs, an icon upgrade SBC, all that stuff is like, you know, potential as well since it didn't drop yesterday. So we'll keep an eye out for that um, and be ready for that. But it's just, again, it's a very big SBC based promo and that is why you see this market dropping off a lot. Now, speaking of SBCs, we've had more of these winter wildcard ones. Before we talk about market a little bit, um, we're going to get more of these SBCs, the winter wildcard tokens. And right now, if a lot of you guys like trading on the low tier budget, or if you are on like, let's say less than 20, 50 or 100,000 coins, trading with some of these SBCs are insane 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 because it's all on the solutions that show on footbin a lot of non-rares uh i think the one that was released yesterday was this guy yeah uh I, it's like a 55k pack that you get alongside of this token it, it requires 95 chemistry the higher the chemistry the harder it is so people go onto footbin and they look up solutions right let me show you what happens people go into footbin they go under the solutions tab active challenges they say, boom, the brand new winter wild cards challenge that gets you a 55k pack, which is a sick W, of course, costs about 8,000 coins to do. All right, completed challenges. Boom, we go search by, search, search by PS4. All right, boom, this is the cheapest SBC. They just click into here. Oh, it requires loyalty. All right, so they might back out after it requires loyalty, but let's go into here, Zapata. This is the, oh, this is the easiest and quickest way to do it. Okay, Zapata is how much, right? 850. Daniel Mon 750. Well, I bet if you go in the market and look, this delete card is not 850 coins as it says he is in Footbin because SBCs and solutions like this, uh, people go on just like I did to look up these cards and these cards will go up crazy amounts in price because people just buy these items Um without even thinking about it. How much is delay? Is he actually a thousand coins right now? No way. Wow. All right. Well, I've seen people selling this delay card for over, um, literally for over 2K. Like this guy spikes up and down like crazy. So you know what? I might join, I'm going to join the club right now. I'm just going to pick up some delays for 950 because I know that this guy goes to like 1.3 to 1.4K or even higher. I'm just going to pick up a page and I don't do a lot of trading like this because number one, if you buy these cards by the hundreds, you can absolutely get banned right you can get absolutely stuffed uh because ea's the ea's like sniping whatever seems to pick up these cards like incredibly incredibly well yeah this guy was 2.7k at one point so i'm just gonna throw all those on the transfer list right quick because i think those are gonna be like probably 2k at some point in in the next couple of hours and i just don't have time to do a lot of trading like this i don't enjoy doing a lot of trading like this but you know when a card like this gets on the sbc solutions and goes from uh, you know, 850, 900 coins to like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 coins, especially for some of these non-rares, it gets crazy. It gets very, very, very crazy. So just be careful with that kind of trading. Like if you're doing it with the hundreds, and I just bought 10 cards, right? Or 12 cards. I'm not going to get banned for that. But if I was buying hundreds upon hundreds, then you run the risk of getting banned. But that part of the market right now is insane for trading with. Insane. The non-rares, the rares, um, as people are doing those SBCs and they're kind of hard to do. So, you know, that's why people go to the solutions and the solutions that show up first, then Footbin's up updates the price when Delet right now shows for 850, he's going to go to like 2k, then he'll come back down. So that's the kind of solution trading you can, you can be doing right now. If you want to trade with that stuff, it's insane. And it moves a ton on the market. Now today on Monday, let's talk market some more, right? Um, weekend league rewards and with the lightning rounds right now, the late night, early morning, like lightning rounds. Let me just show you guys what's going on in the store. They've been doing these lightning rounds again. It's at like three and 4 a.m. UK time when they release these. 
Um, they release either 100k packs or 85 plus star kind of like late night lightning rounds. They're still sitting here, right? These like rarely sell out, but 85 plus star rare preview packs. This has actually dropped some of the winter wild cards like in the last 30 minutes, 40 minutes that these lightning rounds have been out. Uh, like Kings of the Coleman has dropped down like 20,000 coins. Again, I sold a Modric at uh, 920 and 919 and he's now under 900,000 coins. Jonathan David was just like 180 190 actually he's like 174 so you know spinazola is like 155 i do think that today with these lightning rounds these cards are going to kind of get low before rewards uh depending on when you're watching this video and then some of these cards could potentially rise post weekly rewards time frame so keep an eye out for this if people are really genuinely wanting to try some of these cards out today which i think is a possibility especially as i see people tweeting out that like this malinkovich savage card is is just crazy hyped and crazy crazy good in this game um also with some other items like fabinho and pogba um and like nelson Semedo, people might you know get up today and say hey i'm gonna go try some of these cards out some of these cards might rise um as long as there's no new information coming out about like you know any sort of SBC or leaks uh, of what's coming today you could see a few of these rising into the content drop today on Monday but then I would probably get out with a with a quick flip right uh, flipping the cards in packs definitely the quick ins and outs are the way to go uh, when you're trading with these cards Fabinho's 460 450 at the moment which is kind of crazy Neymar is down a lot if you're, if you're watching this Neymar item he was 4 million coins yesterday he was just 3.5 he's now back up a little bit he's like 3.7 uh, but this Neymar was down at 3.5 mil, which was kind of crazy. So a lot of people are finishing their weekend league, selling some cards off. And that's why you're seeing uh, these, these cards drop. And of course, you'll probably see some demand pick up this morning on Monday. But again, with all the SBCs that we still have coming later on this week, whether it is OUR or all of the other cards that are going to be coming out through this these daily player SBCs this week, I would probably not think that this is going to be the low point for those winter wild cards in packs. They're only in the game and in packs until Thursday. Um, but I think I'll be waiting on some of those. If you were looking to purchase for your team or something like that, I would still be waiting on that. Now, some of the out of packs market could be an interesting look. Again, we talked about the, um, the potential for a, uh, the party bag SBC, right? If a party bag SBC were to drop, fodder would definitely go up and you would have a lot of these other cards go down, right? I think you would see like numbers up cards, road to the knockouts. You would see panic selling across the whole market. Um, and some of these cards that link to the very popular SBCs that are out right now, like Mbabu and like Cornet, you know, those guys are technically not Mbabu, but Cornet, for example, rule breakers are in the party bag. So people might sell Cornet because he might be a halfway commonly packed card from the party bag and also people would sell cards to go and do the SBC right to raise coins so they can go buy the fodder to do the SBC um, so you're going to see a panic sell but then some of these cards that are out of packs I think you would see the best sorts of rebounds on items that link to the most popular SBCs that are brand new and that are out in this game so again, if we would get a party bag, like even today on Monday, if Cornet or Mbabu or any of the links to um, the those those Sal or the Zaha SBC or Awar, if it comes out today, those would be great cards to buy out of packs cards, like in the panic selling, because those are going to bounce back up the greatest, because that's where the demand is on this game. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm watching a few cards tonight, uh, but if I'm trading, I'm just going to kind of trade with what's hot, right? Uh, the versus items, this versus Gabriel Jesus is really interesting to me at the moment. Now, of course, for the versus ice cards, you got to be really careful. I'm watching the versus fire Gabby Jesus because he was like 1.1 million coins yesterday and now he's a mil. If this were to go back, yeah, you see like 1.09 overnight. If this were, if I could catch one of these at like 950 or something, like a uh, Gabriel Jesus fire version, like a 950, I'd feel really, really safe about that. So just watch some of these cards. They might pick up again. Um, as some of them have dropped off loads, there might be some fluctuations on the rare and most popular cards on this market today as well. So obviously keep an eye out for that. I got to talk about icons for a second too, because a lot of you guys maybe are trading with some prime icons that have just come out. I know a lot of people lost coins yesterday um, on prime icons as well. And the prime icon market is a crazy place at the moment. It's actually really wild um, because a lot of these cards dropped. Now, I remember last year as well, I bought prime icons on the, like literally the day after they came out. And the next morning they went up a bunch. Uh, but again, this is a completely different market this year. Like I can't believe that 
Prime Valak is 1.1 million coins. That is wild to me. I can't believe that Prime Zamrata is 700k. He was 700k yesterday. That's ridiculous. He was 1.3 million coins last year for a week before his price dropped off. Stoichkov is only 1.4 mil. I think that's ridiculous. I watched this Kaka sell. He was just 1.8 a couple hours ago. Right now, see people are like trying to list him up and get a flip. Because um, yes, these cards are very rare. But a lot of them are so much cheaper than normal. But that's just how the market is this year, right? I think it's the supply this year. The way that the market is. Um, Blanc is really low. Prime Eusebio is like Prime Del Piero. Like, are you kidding me? Prime Del Piero is 800,000 coins. His mid version was 800,000 coins like two or three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, right before Black Friday. I think that's ridiculous, right? I know that some of the mid and the baby cards are a little bit better than the primes and stuff like that. Uh, but like this Baggio, man, like five-star skills. I know he's got not the greatest work rates, but still, I I'm, I'm think... It's just a combination of this year's market and also what's going on right now with the game, right? Everybody in the game right now is worried about the SBCs and that sort of content and trying out cards, especially if people are playing icon swaps and doing objectives. The demand just isn't really to try out the brand new icon. So I think that's why some of those prices are low. But today and this week is going to be a very, very interesting week on the market. These cards are only in packs until Thursday when the season ends. Uh, but I think the Team 2 is going to be on Friday, right? A normal promo Friday release for that. So we'll keep an eye out for that, of course. But hopefully the content continues to be insane this week. Watch out for more of the wildcard tokens, SBCs. I got to get on those. I can't forget those uh, because I got to get that 85 times 10. Stack that in the store. Probably save that for team of the year. We'll see, right? Probably save that for team of the year. I maybe won't even redeem it until January 14th when we get close to team of the year. So I don't get tempted to open it uh, in the meantime. But... Keep grinding away at those, and uh, if you want to trade again with those lower tier cards in the market, they're absolutely insane to trade with. So it's going to be another great week of content. Winter Wild Cards is a fat dub, so I'm excited to see what EA comes out with, how they price the SBCs, and I'm, I'm just excited because the content right now is flowing, it's good, and it's fun, and it's a GG from EA Sports. So that's the video for, uh, for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.